Good afternoon, good people. If you're doing something to help yourself, you're not only bougie, but you're sexy. Sexy. Today, we are going to be reviewing the Crane Personal Fitness Tracker that I recently purchased at Aldi's for $4.99. Yes, $4.99 for this activity tracker that tracks your steps. It also tells you how many miles you went and how many calories you burned. So if you're opting to get an Apple Watch, which that probably would rival this and everything, but you only wanted to count your steps, this is an alternative that you can go to before you make an investment such as that. All right, so here we go. Now I've been tracking here for the whole week. I'm gonna show you what, uh, what I've done here pretty soon. But uh, I've been tracking for the whole week. I've been using it for walking over at the industrial park. Then I walked over in a empty parking lot because we're under this pandemic thing. A lot of parking lots are empty right now. So this is a great time if you wanna go, just go for a walk or go for a jog and you wanna go around the parking lot, this is a great time to do that. And uh, I did that. And then also the WVU stairs, the West Virginia University stairs at the law school. These are brutal. And let me tell you, they have fixed them up and everything. They are, they've been fixed for a couple years now. They used to be kind of rickety but uh, they have fixed it up. It is still brutal. It will still work you out. It aggravated my legs a little bit, so I had to slow off what I was doing there. But the rest of it is flat. And if you wanna go there and walk, you can go there. Now there is, an, there is a grade behind the law school there. If you wanna walk in a parking lot there, there's a little bit of a grade that overlooks the uh, Milan Pushkar Stadium. So you can go there and walk. Uh, they have opened it up and uh, you can go up and down those stairs and do what you want to do. What's nice about this tracker is there's adjustments that you can make on it. It's just not some cheap little thing you get for $4.99. Actually, there hasn't been uh, things that I have purchased at Aldi's. They all live up to their name. I mean, they must have a stringent quality process, but at, at any rate, you can actually adjust the stride that you make when you walk or you run the track, which I found that really pretty impressive. You can adjust the stride such that your steps that you're taking are more accurately measured. Now, I left mine at the factory settings. I, I really did. Um, and just put it on, you set the time, and uh, there are two buttons on mine. Now, I purchased one for mom, uh, and the ladies' version uh, is a little bit more difficult. Uh, I didn't like it uh, when I was setting it because there's only one button that's on the side, and you have to push it through the band. It's really kind of difficult, but they have um, other colors than black for the male one, and uh, it really, I didn't think would really matter, actually. Um, so uh, the, the, the male one is, um, is oblong and like you can see as it is here. And you got the two buttons on the front. So the left button will show you your miles, your steps and your calories. Whereas the right button actually resets that uh, back to zero at the end of the day or at the end of the time frame, which you're taking the, you know, what, what you're measuring or if you hold it in, you can actually set the time, set those measurements for your stride and stuff like that, which I found was really quite impressive for an instrument that's only $4.99. Does it connect through Bluetooth to your computer or anything? No, it's just a standalone product, okay? So with that in mind, what I also did was to measure like, well, how many calories are you burning? Because the mere fact that it's set at factory settings, it would have to know your weight and this and that and everything else. Well, it probably only goes up to a certain amount. Now that I didn't even look at or try, but I went to the web and I, I asked uh, Google, hey Google, can you send me directions or send me 
uh, to different websites. And you'll be pretty surprised what I found because I've actually made a spreadsheet in Google Sheets to calculate all this out. And we're gonna go there right now. Okay, good people, we are in here in Google Sheets again, uh, talking about the pedometer that I just got at Aldi's for $4.99. And I'm going to show you here what I'm doing uh, to compute some of this other stuff that's going on uh, that it doesn't compute, but how you can use this to track your steps, miles, how many calories you're actually burning, and that kind of thing. So over here, um, you have, I put in here a date that you walked, so you can track every single day. Okay, so this would be like one week here. Over here, your weight. Now, I haven't weighed myself since January um, because I'm all about the non-scale stuff. I don't want to be jumping on a scale every single day because then you get addicted to jumping on that scale. Right now, I'm addicted to taking these ketones. And um, as you can see through my Instagram posts, we take a ketone reading every single day, sometimes twice a day and everything so um, <clears throat> that's bad enough to be addicted to doing that I don't want to be addicted to checking weights on scales but for right now I'm guesstimating 380 pounds is what I would be now <clears throat> in this one mile burned kilocalorie you're gonna ask how did you come up with this figure well if you go over here to these some of these other websites and this is a very this is called very well fit um, if you look down here, calories burned walking two and a half to three and a half mile per hour by miles in weight. All right, so I can tell you I'm a little bit slower than two and a half, okay? And for a person who is uh, my size, that kind of thing, and with heart failure, they're not going to be able to do too much more than two and a half to three, okay? Three would almost be like a jog, a slow jog. So, but if you look down here, your weight, do you see it's sort of constant? So, in one mile, it's 53 if their weight is 100 pounds. But look up here to 200. It's 106 for 200, okay? So, and if you go to 300 here, it's sort of, you know, three times this would be what? 159 so it's almost constant so we have to look at this it's going to be an estimation anyway so if we take that information right here and I say 380 pounds divided by 100 I'm moving that decimal point over to 3.8 is all I'm doing and I'm going to multiply this by 53 which was in that chart for 100 pounds okay and when I get that, that answer is 201.4. Now, this is very powerful because now if you take, let's say tomorrow you weigh less, you can put that in here and it's going to compute. Like, say tomorrow I weigh, um, like, say, 365, which is a lot less than 380. Do you see now it, it changes? Okay. So... Let's put that back, okay? All right, so you can see now you got that part figured out. Now, the next one over here is the number of steps in one mile from the pedometer. Okay, so this is where you got to keep checking your pedometer. The pedometer that we're using from Aldi's will let you uh, change the mode over to steps. Then it converts those steps into how many miles you those steps are because you can set the measurement of your stride. So I left everything at factory settings. And so I kept checking one mile is 2,655 steps. Okay, that's constant. That doesn't change unless you change the stride or something like that. Okay, so now that you have that information, our next column is calories per step. So if you take this number and divide it by the one you found over here, that's going to give you this long decimal, and this is how many calories you're burning per every step that you take, okay? Now, I didn't round it. I left it because I'm going to use this in another equation, all right? 
The next three columns, this is where our spreadsheet comes really in ha handy in for you because these are my what if columns, okay? What if I walked 5,000 steps? How many calories is that? Well, right here it is, okay? What if I walked 6,500 steps? Well, right there, that is the answer. And what about 8,000? right here. Now, this is very powerful because this should tell you with your diet and how many calories that you're eating as opposed to how much walking that you're actually doing, you know how much calories you're now burning of what's in your diet, okay? I left it a little divider here. I collapsed this column and left this divider here, okay? And then I actually put my actuals in over here. So the steps that I actually walked on Sunday was 5,249. The calories I actually burned, which is this amount here multiplied by this amount here, okay? And that tells me that I actually burned 398.17 calories and the miles that I traveled was close to two. Monday, well, Monday, we went a couple places to walk, because I told you I was doing a lot of walking. 7,142 steps. Now it jumps to 541 calories, or 542 if you want to round it, and close to 2.7 miles. Today, this is today's figure, we're not done yet because it's only 5.30 p.m. when I'm making this. So I thought I'd just put this in right now to see where we're at. We're almost at the point where we were yesterday in calorie burn and the miles traveled were approaching where we were at for yesterday. Well, we still have, what, six hours left? So when you add those all up for the week, here's your total steps so far, here's your total calorie burn, and here's how many miles you've traveled so far, okay? So this should give you an indication and should let you know if you're burning any fat, do you need to up these amounts? Or are they the right, are they the right amounts for you? And you can judge all that from this little pedometer that only costs $4.99 from Aldi's. So... Go back over this and look at it again, and you can change it however you want to. But again, here are, I'll go over this again. <clears throat> For the mile kilocalorie burned, there is the formula. Again, the steps, you have to get that from the pedometer. The calories per step, there is the equation, calories in 5,000 steps, there is the equation, calories in 6,500 steps, there is the equation, and in 8,000, there is the equation. Then the steps you actually walked, you put that in from the pedometer at the end of the night, the calories you actually burned, which is this number multiplied by this number, and the miles you actually traveled is this number divided by this number. Down here, our formulations, they're just adding up the columns. That's all they're doing. And there you have it. You can now go and figure out all this stuff for yourself. Okay, so you see how it is. We made that and all I'm using the watch for is, well, actually time and to track how many steps that I'm doing. That is all I'm using it for. I put those steps in at the end of the night into my Google spreadsheet and I'm trying to get at least 5,000 steps in a day. Uh, why so low? Well, because of this aggravated leg. Uh, what I'm finding out is with the wraps that I have on, I have to wear these compression wraps, Velcroed compression wraps called Pharaoh wraps. 
every day to keep that swelling down and keep the fluid going back up the leg so it will exit or however you want to call it. Uh, at any rate, what I'm finding out is as I am dropping fluid now, and we are really dropping fluid because the swelling is staying down, um, it's actually getting painful in some of the joints because you're pushing so much fluid. And so it's almost like having a tourniquet on your leg. And so what I'm finding out is the joints really, really ache. And that tendon that I have, that's, it's, it's actually getting strengthening. It, it's, you know, that kind of thing. So it's actually getting better it still has its days where it snaps like a rubber band. It's what it feels like inside and it's very painful. So I have to be careful. So I thought, well, if I make uh, average of five to six or 7,000 a day, no more than 7,500. I don't wanna go over more than that because the thing about it is um, at that point it is painful. And the next morning I'm really feeling it. And it's not so much, um, the calf where the clot was as it is the joints. The joints really, really ache when you do that. And I think it's because we might have taken out too much fluid. The only way we'd be able to find that out probably is through a scan. And with this pandemic going on right now, I'm sure if it's not a life-threatening thing, they don't want to see you. So, and um, the other thing is, I, I don't know how that would entail if I would have to go to the hospital, have that done or anything. And I think that would be just inviting stuff that I just really don't want to get into. So at that point, we're just going to wait, but we'll nurse it as we go along. As long as it's not getting any worse, I'm not going to be too afraid of it. Uh, right now, it's just soreness uh, every day. And, uh, but it goes away. It, it's not like it stays there. It does go away after a while. And so um, we're just gonna have to live with it. You know, it's called like suck it up buttercup. That's what you're gonna have to do. But at any rate, that's what we're doing. That's why my numbers are so low. But listen, I was kind of shocked after I put this thing on and just a normal day, you're almost at 5,000 steps in my case because I walk a lot of places and I go to a lot of places now. And uh, we're not using the wheelchair as much and that kind of thing. But um, so, I'm trying to up it to like maybe between five and 7,000 steps a day. And then as you see, you can see uh, what it's like after I get uh, get done for the week. I have it all added up. And uh, just, just to show you where it is today, today is Saturday. There is a uh, report of what I've done for the week. So uh, it, it's all about staying active. It's all about staying healthy. Um, and you have to do what you have to do to, to maintain that. Do I still lift weights? Yeah, I have dumbbells and stuff in here that I still work out with occasionally and that kind of thing. But cardio removes fat. Strength training removes fat too, but cardio removes it faster. And so um, we've been more or less going out and doing the walking thing. Plus it gets you outside and gets you some fresh air and that kind of thing. It's just where you go walk at, in these, in these days. I'm not walking at a mall. I'm not walking at Walmart. I'm not doing that kind of thing. Although when I go there, I do walk. I'm going to places where there's like kind of nobody at. And then I don't have to worry about social distancing or this or that or the other and that kind of stuff because usually there's nobody out there walking with you. Okay. So, so there you have it. That's what's been going on this week amidst a whole bunch of other stuff. Tune in next time when we'll be doing some other things and stuff. And don't forget, uh, we're going to be doing pretty soon a hot sauce review. I've been getting all these hot sauces and um, it's going to be kind of surprising what I tell you. Uh, some hot sauces, they say they're hot. They're not hot. So very disappointing indeed. But we'll get to that later. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe to help us out. And we'll see you at the next video.